Hey, welcome back. As a landlord scientist, I'm always interested on in what the future has for midterm rentals. So I checked out Saunders. It's a large rental arbitrage company. They're in over 40 cities in 10 countries. They've got about 9,000 units all over the world. They claim to be mobile first and they say they're the future of hospitality. So I had to check this out. So I went to their Midtown South apartment hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. I wanted to know what makes them mobile first and are they really the future of hospitality? And our first impressions was this place is spacious, is clean, and is bright. And we had two balconies, one off the master bedroom and one off the living room. So I organized my thoughts and I want to discuss four pieces of tech that they use and see if it lives up to the hype. And I finished with a roundup of best practices that you can use to improve your guest's experience and also reduce your expenses. So you really want to stay around to the end. Okay, first, there's keyless entry, just like all of us have. But it's, this was a, a little bit beyond that. And for us, coming to an apartment hotel, it was nice not to have a front desk that you had to check in. By the time we got there, it was 2 in the morning. And I've shown up at 2 in the morning at other hotels, and they had given away my room. They had canceled my reservation, or they had to be on the phone talking to their main office to get me checked in. So it was really nice to have a code that I could use to skip all that. So what we did, we were in our car, we rolled in, and then there's this gate to control our access to the parking lot. So we enter our code there. And then to the elevators to, to take us up, we enter our code there to have access to the elevators. And when we're at our front door, we enter the exact same code to get into our front door. So we were feeling very good. We were feeling very safe in this place that we had never been to before because they had all the security in place. Not just anyone could get to us. Once you memorize your code, then you're gonna have a really, really good time because you don't need any keys. There's no fob or anything to pass out or even having that key demagnetized on you, which I really hate. Okay, next up is the app that they have on their phone. I thought this was really, really good. It's super, super clear to you and easy to use. It, it gives you access to a mobile concierge that's open 24 hours and it has great information about the place you're staying and it lays it out nicely. Remember, there's no front desk, but there is concierge service and I'll tell you more about that in a second. But on the app for my unit, I had the Wi-Fi password is great. All the other pricing options, that was really, really clear. I like how they show you your price for a studio, a one bedroom, two bedroom, and then it very clearly shows you the different discounts they have for a seven, 14, 30, and 45 day stay. So you can calculate your, your bill really easy. Also, they, they have on the app a place where you can select for your Uber or your Lyft, and I'm sure those are affiliate links that get some of that back-end revenue to them. That's very, very smart. That's something we do as well on our one-page websites that I talk about in my coaching and training program. You can have all these features that Sonder has in that one page, and it makes for a great experience. Number three, they don't have bellhops or porters, but they do have associates that are mobile. So they are, provide 24-hour concierge service to bring you the things that you need. So behind the scenes, those runners, those associates, use a mobile app similar to what you'll see on an Uber or a Lyft that kind of knows their location and knows where they're trying to go to. And th that app that those guys use plots the most efficient thing that they should be doing, whether they should be taking supplies to a certain room number or uh, scheduling cleaning services. Once we understood the use to chat function, more than talking to people on the phone, we have extra blankets brought up. I was missing a trash can in the kitchen and they had that to us within an hour. Also, I was really upset that I didn't have a wine opener. <laughs> so they got that to me in an hour as well. I wish that they would have had their units better stocked up, but they said that they have been having problems with theft. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. But the runners were very helpful and it was great having a person that we could talk to give us that human feeling. Okay, number four, it's a low-tech item, which is the supply cabinet. On various floors, they have this common area where you could go and you could pick up toilet paper, extra coffee, trash bags, things like that. And that helped me feel more at home and less anxious for sure, because I always want to know I'm not going to run out of toilet paper. So once I found this closet, my anxiety level went down. And, and actually, I enjoyed helping myself. So that made us feel home 
over the seven days that we were staying. Now let's do a, a roundup of some best practices that I was noting because I'm always looking for things that I can incorporate into my units and share with you. They had a Nest thermostat, which is a great piece of home automation. It's very easy to use to control the temperature. The thing about Nest is that they turn themselves off if there's no activity and also they will monitor peak rates for energy use and adjust your temperature there. So automatically saving the owner of money by reducing the temperature during peak demands where rates are at the highest. Also, we really like the Dice knife block. Now this is like a universal knife holder. It fits knives of all different sizes, easy to get a knife in and out too. So I think that's something that I want to incorporate. They're not very expensive at all. Then there was this bench under the TV that had a little bit of storage in it. I really like that. That was my absolute favorite. And it just gave you a place to put on your shoes and also just sit down and have a conversation. And just a great place to park besides on the bed. So I'm a big fan of having seating in your bedroom. Also, I really like the fact that they have these flat white walls and semi-glass white on the trim. That was a great painting scheme. It made the place feel modern. It made it feel really bright. I'm going to get away from the creams and get away from the light grays. I'm going to go with this white now. This is going to be easy for touch-up painting, and I think it's going to make the place feel really crisp. Also, they use ceiling-mounted curtain tracks. So the curtains go along this track, and it's a very, very smooth operation. I like that much better than rods. Actually, I learned that they can hold more weight than rods, so you can have even heavier blackout curtains and I want to get away from blinds as well because my even with my vertical blinds they're always getting pulled off and my horizontal blinds are always getting bent and kinked because my windows are so wide so definitely I'm going to move towards track mounted curtain well there you have it uh, that's my roundup of five cutting edge pieces of technology well there's four with a, a roundup I think it's easier than ever to provide your guests with a stress-free experience and it gives you more things to discuss about the benefits your, your unit offers and helps you stand out. And we all need to stand out these days so we can keep those vacancies down. All right, up next, I want you to watch this video about how to accept credit cards because we need that as we move into the future to make things more frictionless and definitely credit cards are gonna be in the future. You gotta learn how to accept them without relying on an Airbnb or a VRBO. You need to be able to get more direct bookings and this video here will help you do that. So I'll see you over there.